In this video, we are going to discuss about the good fat versus bad fats. And trust me, the difference can change the way you look at your diet. Now, first of all, if we look at dietary fats, they are mainly divided into three categories. Saturated fats, which have no double bonds. Unsaturated fats, which contain double bonds in the cis form. And trans fats, which contain double bonds in the trans form. First of all, let's start with the saturated fats. These fats have no double bonds in their structure. Now when it comes to the sources, we can divide them into two groups, natural source and processed source. Natural sources are like butter, ghee, cheese, cream and red meat. On the other hand, we have the processed sources, includes fast food, processed meats and commercial desserts. This distinction is very important because while natural sources can be taken in moderation, processed sources are the ones that are more harmful for your health. Next we have unsaturated fats. These contain double bonds in the cis form. They are further divided into MUFA that's monosaturated fatty acids and PUFA polyunsaturated fatty acids. PUFA can be further divided into omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Now getting to MUFA first. MUFA is found naturally in olive oil, canola oil, avocado, nuts and seeds and also in cold pressed oils. MUFAs are considered heart healthy because they help lower LDL that is the bad cholesterol and raise HDL that is the good cholesterol. On the other hand when we look at the PUFA we have first omega 3 fatty acids. Omega 3 fatty acid sources includes flax seeds, walnuts, chia seeds and fatty fishes. Fatty fishes are like salmon, mackerel, herring, sardines and tuna. These lower LDL and improve SDL. On the other hand, omega-6 sources are sunflower oil, soya bean oil, corn oil and cottonseed oil. They lower the LDL but may have little to no effect on SDL. Finally, we have the trans fats. These have double bonds in the trans form. Small amounts are naturally found in dairy fat, but the dangerous ones come from the processed sources like margarine, ghee, deep fried foods. These are the worst fats for health because they increase LDL and lower the HDL. So to summarize the things, good fats include MUFAs and omega-3 PUFAs. Neutral to cautious fats are saturated fats from natural sources, which should be consumed in moderation. And the bad fats are trans fats and processed saturated fats, which should be avoided as much as possible. Now let's compare these fats side by side and discuss chemical structure, physical property, lipoprotein effect, clinical effect, metabolic pathway impacts and all things. We see good fats includes MUFA and PUFA, whereas bad fats are saturated fats and trans fat. First is the chemical structure. You know good fats have cis double bonds thereby kinkered structure, whereas in case of bad fats we have the saturated ones that have no double bond and trans fats have the trans double bond. Second point is physical property. Physically we see good fats are like uh, liquid at room temperatures, whereas bad ones are solid or semi-solid at room temps. Then we have the lipoprotein effect. The good fats decreases the LDL, that is the bad cholesterol whereas it increases HDL, that's good cholesterol. And in case of bad fats, it's vice versa. The bad fats increases LDL, that's cholesterol, and decreases HDL, that's good cholesterol. Moreover, we find good fats in olive oil, nuts, avocado, fish oil, flax seeds, and many more. Bad fat sources are fried food, processed food, and margarine. Now let's see the clinical effects of these fats. We see the good fats protect against atherosclerosis, arrhythmias, and inflammation. On the other hand, the bad fats promote atherosclerosis, insulin resistance, obesity, and coronary artery disease. So at the end, we can see the good fat sources on the left and bad ones on the right. Now it's up to you what you want to eat. Choose wisely, eat healthy, and let your food be your medicine. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up to support me. Welcome back to our YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.